right now, and it says using your power of communication to address the people within your network of relationships means knowing when to say no and when to say yes, right? And that, you know, and it, being able to say no and yes is very powerful in our lives because we are all, we're all surrounded with people who want something from us. And that includes our spouse also, right? My, my wife was expressing small anger with me this morning uh, because yesterday she wanted me to do something and I told her I was busy, right? And she expected me to have thrown whatever I was, I wanted, I was doing that part and just jump on and help her. You know, but if I do that always, I will never get a life of my own. I love her, but at the same time, there are priorities in my life. And the only person that knows the priorities in my life is me. God <laughs> knows my priorities more than I do. I, so I cannot say yes to her all the time because I have to, anything that anybody brings, I have to wait against my schedule, what the targets I have to meet. And I, I, I do a thousand and one things. And for things not to start dropping off or falling through the crack, I have to be able to manage the things I take on and the things I don't take on, right? So that's my wife. So I, a, a group in church wanted me to join something next week Saturday, you know? And the answer was no, right? because I'm already full. My cup is full, you know? And I have to, I have to be able to know what else I can carry and what else I cannot carry, right? It has nothing to do with sentiment. It's just reality of life, you know? It's about doing well the things in my hands. It's not quantity, it's quality, you know? So uh, being able to say yes and no will save your life, will prolong your life, or it could kill you, you know? So, so that's important, right? I had a go to like 10 here, and you, uh, uh, Tilly Jakes here says that communication is as vital to human existence as air, water, food, shelter. You know, just saying how important communication is. It, it's, it's, it's an essential part of our life, right? Just by, because communication involves using words, right? And we say that the power of life and death is in words. We use the word tongue, but the reason what we really want to say when we say it's in the tongue is words, because tongues produce words. It's not the tongue itself that has the power. It's the words that the tongue produces that is power, right? And those words can either kill you or, not, or make you alive, right? The words you speak to somebody can be medicine to that person. Just like the encouragement, the love, the, the fact that you, that person, you are telling that person that he exists. You know, there are a lot of people that they don't want your money. They don't really need your money. They just need you to know to, they just need to know that you, you see them, right? You, you see them, and the way you see them is by the words you say. Just say good morning. Good morning can make someone's day. And that person, that person was depressed. But when you say good morning, said, wow, he knows I'm here. You know, so our communication words, you know, are powerful. They're much more than money, right? And they're much more than money. If a lot of people can do without money, you know, but, but they can do it with, with, without love. Right. Uh, the example I keep on giving is the uh, billionaire. They said in Lagos, you know, in this COVID period, died because they couldn't get in a bed. I mean, uh, I'm sure there's more to the story. But my question was, how many hospitals and how many schools did he build? Nobody could tell me. So he was useless. And he had money, but his money was useless. I mean, if you have money and you're not able to use it to impact lives, uh, then what's the use of your money? And in the day of your need, <laughs> I mean, it's a shame that you call yourself a billionaire and they couldn't get you a bed. There should be that there are people that will manufacture a bed for you even when there's no bed. But if you have not impacted lives, then you don't get that, you know? And it's not about money, you know? It's about just recognizing people. It's the words you say, you know? So, and that's what uh, T.D. Jakes is emphasizing here you know, how vital communication is. And it just goes on to say that for as long as we can speak, 
We can give people hope, right? We can encourage people. We can give them life, you know? And that means a lot, you know? And that's a power we're hoping to get from, from this time together. And it says communication converts ideas into words and words into action, right? And that's key, you know? For me, example, uh, I'm, I, I have a business, you know, that I run and I, I can't go there all the time. I do a lot of things communicating over the phone, you know, over WhatsApp and all of that. I have to be able to convert the ideas I have in my head into words. I have to help the people in the field to see the picture that I see. See, I cannot take the picture in my memory, but I can give them the picture by the words I paint to them, right? So, so that's the beauty of communication is the ability to take the picture that you have and help someone else see that same picture. Because until that person sees the picture that you see, you have not truly communicated. Because communication is, is making the other person see what you see. Right, making the other person feel what you feel. That's why we use that popular statement, I feel you. I feel you means you are communicating. I'm, I'm on the same level with you, I'm on the same, I'm in the same chapter with you. And that's the whole idea about communication. Until the other person can feel what you feel, see what you see, you have not truly communicated. Right. And that's what we'll probably be learning as we go along. And just to in closing, uh it, it, TDJX was just uh, emphasized that the enemy will fight is invisible. And using words which are invisible might just be our strongest defense and also offense also might just be the strongest weapon we have to fight. And that goes with the word also. The Bible talks about the fact that our faith is our shield and our sword, our offensive weapon is the word of God. You know, and this all, all place there will be something that we can learn on how to use that word offensive, right, and also defensive.